Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford vehicle with electric battery, guys, electric powered vehicle. And if you want to test the battery to find out if, if uh, each of the cells are good, if the battery is in good condition, uh, state of charge and all these things, guys, leakage of the battery, stay with us. We'll cover that in this video today, which is not very complicated. You will be able to do it in just a few minutes, guys. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos while well, we guys do all that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this absolutely free information to you now if you guys need to buy any parts tools for your ford vehicle you want to save quite a bit of money check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so with that being said let's explain what we have here this is a ford c-max plug-in hybrid electric vehicle you can drive it in electric mode only or we can drive it hybrid but electric mode is about 18 to 20 miles something like that 21 miles uh, now it will differ because ours is probably close to 18 miles at full charge due to the fact that it's nine years old so how we are going to okay test that fault now and find out guys okay <coughs> if the battery is in good condition if the sales are good let's say you're buying a new car used car is excuse me new to you <laughs> and uh, if you want to check things what you need to do find the obd port once you find the obd port okay open it you can see that's where you connect the scanner the two that we'll be using it's called think two guys this is amazing too i will put the link in the description of the video below exactly which one it is they have different ones this is like a dealer level equipment in your pocket you can read the lead codes and see live data guys it's amazing too for every computer systems every computer system and that for on its own has probably about 40 computer systems so it's a must have too you can even do programming with it go ahead plug it in check it out now we'll turn the ignition switch on once we do that guys okay let me show you the state of charge in our case it's all the way full on the battery we just finished charging it so i recommend to test the battery okay uh, to, uh, let me talk about that in a second we we'll select all system diagnostics uh, all the cars that are supported is here it's amazing it can practically work on almost any car you can think of guys even ferraris so click in decoding it's going to decode now but one thing i want to tell you about it is test it when it's full the battery and test it when it's almost empty okay because when it's full you want to make sure that all the cells charge all the way when it's empty you want to make sure that all the cells of the battery discharge about the same rate as well so it decoded the VIN number told us we have a 2013 Ford C-Max uh, and it's going to communicate with all the computing systems now so all the computers in that vehicle it will establish communication it will load it now in a second you can see we'll select system selection here those are all the computers just in this Ford. I'm telling you guys, you need a tool like that. Keep it in the glove box for a peace of mind. Go to battery energy control module or anything close to that. Here you can do the first thing that you can do is special functions. Battery, energy control module, cell voltage. Make sure that you have the emergency brake on here yeah, and the wheels are blocked so the vehicle doesn't roll on you. Always follow the instructions on the screen for your specific model. This hybrid battery consists of 84 cells. Each one of those cells should be between 2 volts and 4.3. 2 volts discharged, 4.3 when it's charged all the way. If you look at ours now guys, ours right here, check it out now, they're somewhere between 4.0 3 4.03 to about 4.0224 23 is the lowest i see it's very important that when you check those when it's charged is close to the upper limit uh, i recommend to test it warmer weather probably about 70 80 degrees and they should be at the optimum temperature so it uh, it will tell you exactly okay uh, how much your battery lost power during the years as well let's say you can charge it only to 4 volts but initially it was 4.3 okay you're probably losing about uh, what is it eight nine percent so it's important when you check the battery voltage and the battery cells that each one of those cells does not differ too much from the other ones let's say one of them is at three volts two volts you have a problem 
or a 3.8 but all of them are around 4.023 you have a problem guys with that cell so inspect all of them make sure they're good now when you discharge it drive the vehicle test it again and see if they discharged uh, halfway through the cycle the same way because if one is bad it can discharge quicker than the other ones also you can click the read data stream that's a live data for that module and we're going to select all the parameters here perfect you can check everything about the battery the temperature sensor inside age of the battery here 93.11 months if you have any errors guys uh, the battery pack state of charge 94.24 percent right here the voltage as well in uh, inner temperature of the battery right there guys you can check uh, the hybrid battery minimum battery module voltage right here and the, uh, the that's for the hybrid battery now you can check each of those two as well minimum average and the deviation guys okay between the modules right there uh, it will tell you how many uh, percent and all that stuff deviation of 0 0.065 percent which is not bad if you have big deviation you have problems with the battery so that's how you can test it easily guys and find out what's wrong with it if you have any questions let us know thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time